So, so not really a tangent, just kind of adjacent to this. Um, you know, because we we've we've asked we asked Larry the same question a couple episodes ago. Um, you know, you obviously you've seen you've seen people killed. Mm. It's like you just said, why do you think um specifically murder, but why do you think like things like that are so prevalent in the black community where the numbers are so high in comparison to other communities? Uh really uh it, it really is jealousy um nothing to do uh, is it, it's really stupid things when you really just think about it it's uh, uh just carrying on the image you'd be surprised how many people got killed over like uh talking to someone's girl or you know uh, jumping bad or you know getting you know uh, getting into an argument over the phone over a girl or something like that but it's it's, it's covered up in the the cripple blood type thing, you know, uh, you know, one person from this side, I diss this person, but really in the background is over this girl. Or, uh, it's really stupid. In majority of the cases where I come from, there's no real reasons. Um, it's just about image, respect. Um, kind of like doing it for you, for for the neighborhood that you that you represent. Why do you think that you know, specifically race wise? Mm-hmm. You know how over, especially right, over the right. country, because why it's, it, because it's, it's black people are you know are and maybe even more prevalent into things like gangs. Well, because there's nothing else for them to do. There's nothing else. For nothing them else to do. do. It's just that's just what it is. It's, uh, of course, education plays a key part of it. You know, we grew up with uh, you know fatherless homes and things like that. No one are teaching us. But the main reason is it's nothing else to do. I mean, you know, you you have a fair. Uh, Bell's Amusement Park or something like that open up. Right. Everybody wants to go there, and it's going to draw all mo- majority of the black community. And there you go. You see somebody from the other side. You see this guy you don't like. You don't, uh, and and there you go. So how, how do you think um, that gets resolved? What do you think we do? You know, do you think it's 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 um, you know, people because okay because that leaves a lot of big questions because you know there's a conversation there is a conversation in the world in politics in the world overall about the same question some people talk about a lack of access to job opportunities that's, and basically is that the situation that's what i was going to say you know because i was thinking i was i was asking about that i was asking about you know is, is it is it education is it a lack of job opportunities Absolutely. is it a need for someone you know someone older who, to kind of come back and kind of get and involved too, in the community that to getting certain leaders uh certain guys think about it it's so it's, it's no structure out there anymore where everybody kind of got their own cliques and doing their own thing but yeah getting guys who's leaders from those groups and bringing them together uh and that could help uh bringing those leaders from different rival gangs right. and uh that way they would have, have influence on, on the guys that's in the neighborhood but nowadays like i said you got so many different cliques that d- different b- branches that branched off of like the blood set or the crip set I mean, it's, that, that, it's, it'll be a difficult, a difficult thing to do. But the main thing is, like you said, uh, is jobs, creating jobs, job opportunities. You know, uh, you know, you, you know, putting money in people's pocket. That's that's gonna be the best way to resolve. It. Other than that, and you're still gonna have crime. Uh, but that major back to what I was saying was, uh, yeah, they get it because they do it because somebody might be broke. You might not have money, in, you know, in your pocket. You know, uh, it's hard. You know, you waiting on a paycheck. You know, three hundred fifty, four hundred dollar paycheck a week, where you can go get it today, or see somebody with something, a chain on, or some rims, or you could just take his car and go get it. It's, 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 it's instant, it's quick. See, that that seems really difficult to yeah. overcome. Right. You know, because if, yeah. if when you're in that situation, then even if you have job opportunities come in, like how do you convince somebody to take those opportunities when they can get the same amount of money overnight? You have to increase. Yeah, you have job opportunities, but it has to be. Uh, <laughs> you know, substantially. You know, you have more to increase more increase. You have to be to, worth more. Have to be to... worth more than right. But then also, like it, you know, it ha- that we have to be educated. They have to be educated. You know, and realize the uh, uh, may re- to realize that how more, stupid it is. Even. More than just uh, you know school, because you know you were in school, so you're talking about what a moral education, right? Right, understanding right, exactly. right and wrong and. And then also, like what uh, you know, how to how for how for them to people to better themselves. To better themselves, uh, themselves right? Up. Right. Listen, guys, we are doing great things here at the Lamplight Productions, and you can be a part of it for the low price of zero dollars and zero cents. Cause all you gotta do is subscribe, ring the bell, ding dong, you can't go wrong, or don't. It's a free country. Do whatever you want. 
So I don't know how you can live with yourself.